Today we're making homemade soap from lye. We have all of our ingredients and our supplies here. We have chemical proof gloves for safety, safety glasses, and we also have our, our lye and our distilled water, which is what you use together. We'll go over that later. We have white vinegar. If you get a burn on your hand from the lye, if any lye touches your skin or touches any of the items that you cook with, then you want to wash it with the white vinegar or put it on the burn area where the lye touched. We have our scale for measuring the weight and we have a wooden spoon right here. We do the, the wooden spoon instead of a metal one because the lye will eat up the metal. So we have our soap mold, we have our crock pot, our coconut oil, we have our um, immersion blender, then we have two of our thermometers, one is for the oil and one is for the light. I don't want to mix the two. And then I also have our scale for measuring the weights, which I already mentioned, and the two glass jars, um, and you want to make sure that they're able to withstand um, some pretty high heat. We have this jar, which is going to be used to mix the lye and the water. And then we have this jar, which is going to pre-measure our ingredients on the scale before adding them to our main mixing jar. So I've turned on our scale and it says zero grams. I'm going to move the unit to ounces. And once it finds the weight, I'm going to press this again. And it should give me zero ounces, which means it's not counting the weight of the glass jar. So then I can fill it with my oils and I need two pounds of coconut oil, or 16, uh, 32 ounces. So you can see on the scale, this uh, final jar is 16.01 ounces. So we're just going to take that and put the rest into our crock pot. If you take a peek over there, you can see that the other 16 ounces is already in it. And you can use a bigger jar. Obviously, this one's not big enough for liquid coconut oil. So we have our oils in the crock pot and it is 32 ounces total. We're going to turn it on high for now. We want it to reach a temperature of 130 degrees Fahrenheit. We will, we do not want it to go over 130 when you're ready to uh, mix your lye mixture into it because it will cause a volcano explosion. We don't want a mess in the kitchen. So I'm going to turn on high and I'm going to keep checking it. It's going to melt and I'm only going to use my trusty wooden spoon. Okay, so we are going to be measuring our distilled water. So again, I'm putting the glass jar on here and then I'm going to reset it so that the weight is at zero ounces. And we are going to be putting 12.16 ounces of distilled water.
and it's at 12.13. Okay, 12.16 ounces. Okay, so we have about 4.84 ounces of lye in our jar, and we are going to slowly add it to our jar of water. And be sure to always wear protective eyewear and chemical proof gloves. So add slowly. It is going to start heating up the water very quickly. are in the bottom. Once all the crystals have been dissolved, then we're going to leave it sit here. It is going to reach a higher temperature and you want to wait to add it to your oils until it reaches 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not add lye that is over 100 degrees to your oils, otherwise you will have the volcanic explosion. Okay, so I'm just testing the temperature. It is at 182 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna let it sit out here until it comes back down to 100 degrees. Then it'll be ready to mix into our oils. I cleaned my utensils and things that I used with vinegar, with white vinegar, that neutralizes the lye. Okay, now we're ready to add our lye to our oils. The oils have reached a temperature that is just under 130 degrees Fahrenheit, and the lye has reached a temperature of uh, about 99 or 98 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's under 100 degrees. Safety gear, lye can definitely burn you at this stage pour slowly. Now we're going to use our immersion blender. We're going to time this for about five minutes until we reach a slight trace, which means if you come up here and show it, it looks clear. It's um, not going to be clear anymore. So it's going to start looking like soap. Okay, five minutes. Okay, so I've blended this for about five minutes. If you peek in here, you can tell a difference. So it'll be kind of thick enough to coat a spoon. Um, we are going to cook this on low for about 55 minutes. And I will come and check it about every 15 minutes and see if it needs any stirring. It will start to uh, grow and get more thick. And then at the 55 minute mark, we will shut the heat off and we will quickly pour it into our mold. So make sure at this stage, you have your mold ready. So I'm gonna do that right now. I have my mold. It's gonna be nearby for when we're finished. See you in an hour. 
Okay, so it's been about an hour and we've had the crock pot on low. Now it's finished and ready to be put into the mold. That will not be completely set and done and safe to touch until 24 hours. So right now it's about 4.30 p.m. my time. So tomorrow at 4.30, I'll be able to handle this soap without getting burned from any light. So we're just going to pour it quickly into the mold because it, it's going to set very quickly. Okay, so I'm just putting in the mold, kind of smoothing it out. The tops are, is going to have like a, a ridge. It's not going to be smooth. It is hot process soap, and it's just going to set in the mold like this. Now, any of this that's still on the spoon or any surface can still burn you. So we want to make sure we're very careful. I usually set it up and I'll prop it up uh, with something else to keep it stabilized. And then we leave it for 24 hours and tomorrow it'll be done. We'll be able to cut it.